Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to fix stolen device protection feature not showing on your iPhone. If you have updated to iOS 17.3, Apple have released this added security feature to increase the chance of finding your iPhone and prevent thieves from changing your device passcode or Apple ID passcode with this new stolen device protection feature. Go inside settings application and then face ID and passcode enter your device passcode and here when you scroll down a little bit you will see the stolen device protection feature here it is now missing from this iphone and here are some easy troubleshooting steps that you have to follow if stolen device protection feature is not showing on your iphone so the first important troubleshooting step is for some reason if you're not using face id or touch id on your iphone then this feature will automatically be disabled and it will not show here so the very first thing is you need to set up face id and start using it in order to use stolen device protection feature apple have designed it to make it mandatory to use the face id on the iphone the important thing is if for some reason if the face id hardware is disabled and you're using only passcode to authenticate and enter your iphone and to use the iphone then it is impossible to set up stolen device protection on your iPhone. You have to fix the Face ID hardware issue first because in cases like if you have dropped the iPhone some time ago and the Face ID got disabled and you are already seeing the Face ID disabled error, then users may experience this problem like the stolen device protection is not showing on their iPhone. Otherwise, if it is working normally, then the first troubleshooting step you have to do is set up Face ID and then when you scroll down a little bit, you will see the stolen device protection feature. I have already turned it on. just to show you an example that I have just completed the Face ID setup and it has started to show right now. With the release of iOS 17.4 uh, which is expected by next month, Apple is going to fine tune this feature you know even a little bit more like inside uh, you will see the options like away from familiar locations or always it has to be turned on. My suggestion is to keep this feature always on because even in familiar locations if the phone is theft or lost then the thieves should not be able to change the passcode of your iPhone or the device you know within that familiar locations proximity area. The second troubleshooting step you need to do is navigate to settings then private and security under locations scroll down a bit and uh, you know at the last you can see the system services and here make sure the significant locations feature is on Apple also makes it mandatory for this feature to be turned on so that it can detect the home or workplace that you configure in your maps and according to that the stolen device protection feature will be able to work better and the next troubleshooting step you need to do if you are still not seeing stolen device protection feature is navigate to settings application and then to screen time and here you need to click on restrictions the content and restrictions and here make sure that the content and restrictions is off otherwise if you are using this feature for some reason you know if you are handing it over to your kid or to some to some random strangers and you want to have some privacy features configured then scroll down a little bit and you have to uh, set the password changes and account changes to allow so this could also prevent stolen device protection feature from not showing on your iphone so make sure this feature is off if you are not using any of this content and restrictions features and the last troubleshooting step is if still you are not seeing the stolen device protection feature after trying these workaround make sure to restart your iphone because it could be a software related problem one of my audience have actually fixed it after restarting his iPhone after trying the mentioned steps. So it could be due to the iOS related bug you know which a simple restart will help to fix and when you navigate inside settings face ID and passcode you will start to see the stolen device protection. It is not any country specific restriction this feature is available to all countries right now wherever the iPhone is available. So even if you are using imported iPhone models this feature should be there on both your touch ID and uh, face ID models you know iPhone SE second generation or third generation models based on the iOS 17.3 which is the only mandatory that you need to update in order to use it. I hope these troubleshooting steps helped you to fix the problem. Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a wonderful day.